what's going on y'all it's your boy turn them wheels today i'm going to be showing y'all this new tool that i got on amazon it's going to be the king bolin e diag uh it's pretty similar to the think diag on amazon i've been eyeballing it and looking on it and looking at some other youtube videos and i finally made the decision to uh purchase it so it's an obd tool onboard diagnostic tool any vehicles made after 1996 it will work with and uh, this one is actually a bi-directional scan tool. So it's not just a regular scan tool that clears codes and looks at parameters and stuff like that. This one's bi-directional. So you can check out the uh, the throttle body, oil reset, injector coating, uh, and etc. So on the box, uh, it says E-Diag Automotive Diagnostic Device. Turn your smart device into a professional technician's diagnostic tool. The most powerful dongle with full professional OE level functions such as read clear codes, data stream, graphing, read ECU info, actuation tests, and bidirectional special functions. Low cost for each additional vehicle manufacturer software. So I think it has multiple different manufacturers, GM, Chevy, Ford, Toyota, etc. Free update with each valid uh, subscription. Full coverage for more than 98% vehicle models on the market. Professional industrial design with dust prevention and shock proof. And it looks like it works with iPhone and Android and also iPad. So on the App Store, what you want to search for is uh, you can either search for eDiag or search for King Bolin. Uh, I, I went ahead and searched for King Bolin, but either one will work. And then it says, caution, don't forget to remove the eDiag from the OBD port after use keep the e-diag away from water gasoline or any other liquids then it tells you the working voltage 9 18 volts working current shenzhen king bolin electronic technology limited it tells you their support email <clears throat> excuse me a little stuff like that it does come with a one-year warranty and i believe it comes with a one-year subscription so i'll go ahead and unbox this thing uh, i have not unboxed it so this is going to be the actual legitimate unboxing see if i can get it kind of tight let's see, go ahead and rip it right there it's all right not a big deal let's see let's tear it open kind of stuck got some paperwork you gotta pluck that and file it to the side we'll set it down right here let's see take it out let's see this is how it looks right here little obd port and that's how it goes so we'll go ahead and get it plugged in all right so i got it all plugged into the obd2 port this is the app that you want to download e-diag it's through the uh the e-diag uh or think bowling let's see i meant the uh, king bowl and not think bowl and i was thinking of the think diag so let me go ahead and open it see it takes you over to king bolin would you like to send you notifications i'm going to do allow let me build my login real quick all right so here i am in the app i just activated the serial number and the activation code it says the software will be automatically downloaded for you please pay attention to the cellular data it will take a while take a while depending on the quality of the or the quantity of the software download congratulations binding succeeded please visit e store in a minute Pull to refresh the page, then download the software you need. And then I'll do, let's do how to install, installation. I'm gonna do mine as a Chevrolet. I'm gonna do Silverado. Let's see. There's a bunch of different options. I'm going to do Silverado four-wheel drive K and then I'll do the 2013. Oh no, they don't have that. Okay. So I have to change this to just do Silverado K. Yeah. Oh no, it has a 2012. So let's just do Silverado. Huh. Let's do, let's see what the C they have it as a C and K. I think the C is a two-wheel drive and the K is a four-wheel drive. I'm just added a Silverado C. 
and do yeah 2013 model how to install do found it at a installation is successful let's do all system diagnostics Let's do, I'll turn it on. And turn down the radio and the air conditioning. And let's do a VIN scan. Like to use Bluetooth. So it's gonna grab the firmware. Let's see, we'll check it out. So right now it is beeping down there. The light changed from green to blue. It's kind of scanning like a slot machine. Okay, let's see. So it says either GM or electric vehicle GM, but it's just a regular one. I'll do confirm. New software version is available for better user. Please update the vehicle software to latest version. Do not turn off the phone or exit the current page during the software download or upgrade process as to not cause the download or upgrade to fail. So we can see what all it can do. It's down there clicking and making noise. Right now it's loading. Diagnosis is starting. Information reading for data. Please wait. It seems to be pretty fast, and that's what you want in, in uh, today's scan tools. You want something fast and reliable. Let's do health report, system configuration. We'll do yes. Communicating. So it's currently down there blinking. Uh, this one does have the navigation radio. Uh, automatic or manual air conditioning. This one does have the automatic. System info communicating. Still loading. With trailer brake, this one does have the trailer brake. It's under 8,600 gross vehicle weight. This one does have with vehicle stability enhancement system. I know it's a mouthful. Uh, and then it does not have this RPO. I don't remember. I think that's like the, the mag magnetic ride or whatever adjustment on the GMs. So I'm going to say without health report. So it's going to scan all your modules. Engine, engine control, control module, module transient control module. So it's going to read it all out to you. This is very cool. No fault code. Fuel pump control module. FPCM. No fault code. Amplifier, Bose, Amp Bose, not equipped. This is very cool, guys. Body control module, BCM, no fault code. Body so it's reading it out module. to me. Auxiliary, BCM X. Driver door so it is telling me the driver dual switch is very similar to my other scan tools. The GM had the technical service bulletin for this. Instrument panel cluster, IPC, no fault code. Memory seat module, MSM, no fault code. Navigation radio, NR no fault code. Park assist module, PAM, no fault code. Passenger door switch, PDS, fine fault. Oh, yeah, so it's saying the passenger door switch over there is having that. PDS, this is the same, no the GN code. technical service bulletin for that. Personal audio link module, Palm, not equipped. Rear heated seat module, RHSM, not equipped. RHVACRSA, not equipped. Remote control door lock receiver. So the remote control door lock receiver module on these trucks, it controls the TPMS, your tire pressure monitor system, and the remotes. So that one's good. This is a very cool tool, guys. I'm going to highly recommend this tool. And I'm going to uh, place a link in the description if you want to purchase this. So far, this thing's awesome. I mean, this was like a minute and 30 it just scanned every single module located inside the vehicle. So no fault codes, engine control module, transmission control module, no fault codes, fuel pump control module. Uh, I'm, I know this is all a mouthful, guys. HVAC control module, your AC, 
Uh, I mean, there's no fall codes, only on these door switches, but that's that's normal on these, on these trucks. So, I mean, and it's going to give me a fault report. Uh, so, I can click on these. The B255-01, the same thing about the short to circuit. Uh, let's see. All these other ones are normal. So, we can go into reports. Let's see what it says. Uploading. So it's actually going to generate a PDF and it will tell you what the issues are. So I believe I can email this. Yeah, it'll be generating the PDF and I think you can email it. If you want to email it to a customer or yourself, uh, that's really cool. Let's see what else there is. System scan. Engine control module. Oh, we already, I already did something like this. Okay, so let me go back. Let me wait for it to load. Okay, let's do system selection. So we can actually go in here to the engine control module and I can do the actuation test, special functions. It will tell me if it's going to pass the, our, uh, here in Texas, we have the yearly inspection. So I am data. It's going to tell me if it's complete. So everything looks like it is complete. All the monitors. Let's see. Let me go back. Let's do IM system status. Okay, so it's saying test completed. The catalyst, yes. The EVAP, no. Heated oxygen sensor, yes. Exhaust, EGR, recirculation, yes. Confirm. So that's very cool. Let's do read data stream or data stream, however y'all want to pronounce it. Let's do engine data. We're gonna do engine speed, idle speed, engine coolant temperature, uh, and mass airflow. And let's do confirm. System info communicating, please wait. This is very cool. I'm getting some live data on the vehicle over here and it's telling me everything I need to know. And you can click on these and it'll show a graph this is very cool. It's on the RPMs, degree Celsius, mass airflow. So this looks good on this truck. And we'll see if there's any... Oh, yeah, I said there was no fault code, so that's good. Let's go back in. Let's do special functions. Idle learn reset. Oil life reset. Crankshaft position variation learn. Heated oxygen sensor learn. Actuation test uh output control air conditioning relay cooling fans so i can actually control all three and i can do let's see on i'm controlling all the fans now i'll turn them off so this thing works if you're looking to get a bi-directional scan tool this thing will work guys i highly recommend it i'm going to use it some more and learn it some more and uh, hope you all can like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.